Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about adding crosshairs to your laser diode. It is one of the best upgrades I've done to my machine and I truly love using this. A special thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and more on them later. I wanted to be able to cut boards that were bigger than my bed size on this laser cutter, but it is very difficult to line up using the laser to those points that you reference in order to make a bigger cut. So I wanted to invest in something that would make my cutting a lot easier. I found this crosshair on DIY Electronics, so I bought it and it has been absolutely amazing. I found a couple of uh, STLs to 3D print, and this one here that we're looking at here uh, from Eric Grand is the best one I've found. This one here allows you to clamp the laser. Now, I had a previous model on here that was actually designed for the 44 watt, oh, sorry, 40 watt Creality laser cutter. And that one was, it, it didn't clamp the laser. So every time you bumped it, you would go out of alignment. So I wanted something a little bit more sturdy. I found this one, and if you tighten up the screw on there, it clamps it down really nicely. And it is now clamped into position on my laser cutter. So, Let's go and add this to our Lightburn. Lightburn is an incredibly powerful piece of software that allows you to do many different things with, with it. And one of the things is to add a crosshair. Before we continue this, I just want a quick word from our sponsor, PCBWay. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. If you're into electronics and PCB projects, PCBWay is the place to go. They offer high quality PCB prototyping and assembly services. But that's not all. PCBWay also provides precise CNC machining services. And for those innovative 3D printing projects, their 3D printing services have got you covered too. Fast turnaround time, excellent customer support, and all at an affordable price. Check them out at PCBWay.com and take your projects to the next level. Yeah, guys, PCBWay is an absolutely amazing service. They deliver on what they promise. I've got an affiliate link if you want to use it in the description of, my, of this video below. Have a look at that description and it, I join my affiliate program. Thank you very much to PC Way Way for sponsoring this video and now back to it. So let's go into Lightburn. Now I've got a relatively freshly newly installed version of Lightburn here. It's still in trial and I'm going to show you how to set up this laser. The first thing you want to do is after the laser is configured in the machine, which is you add right in the beginning, I'm going to go to device settings and I'm going to change some settings. The third, first thing I want to do is I want to turn off auto home at startup. I don't need it to home because I'm going to use the current position rather than the absolute coordinates. And another thing I want to do is when you do cutting using current position, it often says, well, every time it says that this might be out of bounds. So I'm going to disable the out of bounds warning. Another feature that I need to enable or another setting is to enable the laser fire button. That is part of our process here. So we're going to enable it. That goes into our move menu where you can then see and fire your laser to make a mark on your paper or just to see where you are. But for our case, we're gonna be marking the, the point of the laser. Right, okay, so, and then we will come back and we'll enable the point of offset shortly. Let's just go and grab a rectangle and draw one on the screen here, any position. And then I'm going to set my job origin to the bottom right-hand corner to there, and we'll explain why shortly. And I am going to set from absolute coordinates to current position on my laser on light burn. Then we'll put on our safety goggles and we'll run this little cut. As you can see, it cuts in our square into the paper. I haven't set it to cut right through, so it should be good enough. All right, now that that's cut, we're now going to align the laser. So what we do is you line your crosshair, we align the crosshair, to the bottom right hand of our square. That's our origin point. Then we go to the move menu. If your move menu is not available, go to window and enable the move menu on, on here. So you need to turn that on or off. So let's just turn it off. Let's turn it back on. 
and then under the move menu you get a fire option and you can set the power of that so you can see the laser marking or the laser on your on your surface and it allows you to mark a point or just to see where your laser position is so i'll turn my glasses back on and i am going to hit fire let that burn for a second and then we'll turn that off right then the laser goes off right now what has happened here is that has put a mark on my paper here. I don't know if you can see that there. Hopefully you can from the up the camera above. It puts a mark on the paper there, and now we can use that to measure. So the first thing, grab my trusty vernier. Now, I like to use a vernier in this because it's more accurate and it gives you a, you want to be as accurate as possible so that your alignment is down to the millimeter or to the fraction of a millimeter. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to measure, I hope, I hope you can see this, and please excuse my vernier skills, they are not the best in the world. Okay, so I am going to measure from that dot to the edge of that line, okay, on the right hand side. I want to get right in the middle of that dot and right on the line. So I'm sitting with a reading of 41.98. Okay, so we go back into Lightburn, we go to Edit, Device Settings, right? And then we go to, um, to Laser Offset, and in the X value, I place in here, I'm going to put in there 41.98. And on the Y position, we'll measure from the dot down to the bottom. Let's measure from that. So the dot right down to the, we'll measure from the dot that we burnt to the bottom. And I am looking at about, as I say, you want to be as accurate as possible. 41.19. Let's do that. Let's just add that in there. Now, remember the Y, because we've made our origin the bottom right of the laser, we need to make it a negative number because the X moved positive, but the Y moved negative. So let's make that minus 41.19. And we press OK. All right, now that we've got our offset mark, this is where the cool part comes in. I'm going to now line my laser back up to the bottom right hand corner here where we had it before. I line the laser across here to the bottom right hand corner. We're going to put our glasses back on and then we are going to cut this again. And you'll see what happens. The laser moved down to that bottom right hand corner before starting to cut and then starts cutting. So this is, and there we have it. And there we have it. I am not 100% accurate on my measurements, so I might want to go and tweak those values. You can play around with those values to get it as close as possible to your, to your cutting of your square, but it is definitely more accurate than the way I was doing it before. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and please give it a like. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And if there's any way I can make your life easier with 3D printing or laser cuttings, please let me know and we will work on that as a project for you. Guys, have a great day. God bless and thank you for watching.